Hello, in this video I'm going to be making a cheat version of a Bordelais sauce or a red wine jus, demi glace, whatever you, those terms you might use in these fancy French restaurants. However, I'm going to be using the brown chicken stock from my last video. So not a veal stock, a brown chicken stock that's heavily reduced, far more accessible for you to get hold of chicken bones and you know, than veal bones, but I think I still think you can make a really high quality restaurant style fancy red wine Bordelais sauce, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I think you're going to love this one. I'm going to crack on with it now. I've got some baby onions. I'm using traditionally be shallots, but as I say, it doesn't really matter. Uh, onion, red onion, anything like that. And I'm just chopping it up nice and finely. You don't have to go as fine as I'm just, just really roughly hacking up. It's not going to stay in the sauce. It's going to be passed out once it's given its flavor. So there's my beaten up old saucepan. It's really good for doing sauces in, but yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? Little bit of oil. In go the onions or shallots, in with some thyme. Traditionally, that would be tarragon in a classic Bordelais sauce. And it would have marrow in it, I know, but you know, it, this is a cheat sauce, don't get upset. And that is half a bottle of a Bordeaux wine I'm using in this one, which would be traditional, but it doesn't have to be. Just a nice punchy red wine. Something you can drink, but not expensive. Reduce and reduce and reduce. And to the point where, well, it's nowhere there. You taste it. And it's like, ugh, it's bitter. It's, it's not nice at that point. So you want to really cook all the alcohol off. And then when it tastes nice, and that was the point where it's almost all gone, just sort of like wet onion. It's lovely. Touch of salt. In goes the brown chicken stock from my previous video. Please go and watch that. Traditionally, that would be a demi glace, which is made from veal stock. Hard to do. And it tastes great. And you could thicken it if you want to, but I just wanted to reduce mine again until I've got a really nice thick consistency that is oh it's gorgeous it's done uh, I'm gonna pass that now through a sieve um, and I want to extract every bit of this because you can see it's not a lot of yield. It's a lot of work. It's not a lot of yield. Obviously, you can scale it up. Um, and But squish. Squish all those bits out there. Don't break your sieve, though. And uh, But I'm not happy until I've, I think I've got every bit. there yes done and look at it that's nice so that's good to go pretty much but uh i thought i'd do a little rack of lamb you know why not um but this isn't a rack of lamb video so i'm racing through here making some herby breadcrumbs a little bit of olive oil went in that they look nice don't they there's a the lamb I trimmed that up myself. I was quite pleased with the work I did. Give it a really good season. Oh, Lord, yes, in there. Nice hot pan skillet, whatever. And uh, we're going to seal. We're going to get a nice brown seal on this. It's called the Maillard reaction. It just tastes super savoury. It's got nothing to do with sealing in juices. That's a lot of rubbish. But there we go. Nice and browned mop off some of the excess fat from there and then really heavily coat it with these gorgeous breadcrumbs look at this really nice doesn't it it looks kind of professional uncle max cookery lessons for once and i'm cooking that till i get a good temperature there i'll put on the screen what i think your core temperature for a medium medium rare and finish the sauce now so this is called monteo beurre basically we're making this nice and glossy and shiny and rich with butter which was unsalted butter look at it doesn't it look good i'm so pleased And yes, the lamb has come out. I would say that's m almost medium. However you like your lamb. Um, I say. That. 
Yeah. Mm. I think I burnt the parsnips. Whoops. And there you go. So I'll decant the sauce into a nice sauce boat to make it look fancy. And we'll just drizzle that all over there. Doesn't it look nice? And uh, well, we're going to hand you over to me now for the tasting. Well, that was hard work. The lamb, not the sauce. The sauce is actually really easy. Um, let's have a go, shall we? So I am going to dive straight into this lamb because it just looks amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Dip this potato in the, in the sauce. Mm. I'm going to polish that off in a minute, but let's just taste this sauce. That has got so much depth of flavour. Um, if I was working in a fancy French restaurant nowadays, nowadays, I would be more than happy to serve that with any like red meat you got on the menu. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's mm, yum. Um, anyway, that's it. So that's a use for the dark brown chicken stock from my previous video. Please go and check that one. And in a future video, if you'd like me to do a, a, a longer form video of how to prepare this herb crusted rack of lamb, then I would do so if I get 500 likes on this video. Let's see if I get 500 views first of all, but uh, yeah, there you go, 500 likes or comments, subscribes, all that sort of stuff. And I'll be more than happy to do that lamb in a future video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again pretty soon. Bye.